project or repress it. You can replace it. Your anxious thoughts can be traced, erased, and replaced with life-giving, healing, spiritual thoughts. The key is to be able to identify the self-destructive thought, SDT. They created your anxiety. You can do that by using the A, B, C, D process. You can also use imaginary stuff. Picture in time, you are really anxious. See the picture and then begin to change it. You can change it by one, adding something spiritual to that anxious picture inside of your head, changing your anxious belief system about adding something to the spiritual to it, or changing your anxiety belief system by taking something evil away from it. So if you think about something that made you anxious, anxious picture in your head, then take everything that's evil away from it. Now one of the things that I used to uh, take in my head was this, especially in my first marriage, the guilt that I had for spending all the money on crap. That you know what my, what would take away the anxiety? Was the love that that woman still gave me despite what I did to her. You know what I mean? How can this person endure what I put them through? It took that person 25 years to just say, I have a love. You understand what I'm saying to you? Oh, how in the world did that person endure? And I said, God, I want to be like that. I want to be like that person who endured for me. I want to be like that person who's long suffered. So, no matter when that thought comes, I want to be like that person who suffered with me and encouraged me. Amen? Amen. Let's look at some SRTs. All right. Somebody give me Luke chapter 12, starting at verse 29 to 31. Who got it? Because I don't want a bunch of yelling out. Who got it? Just give me one person. All right. Give me that one scripture. All right. Somebody give me Psalm 46 and 10. Give me a hand. Somebody got it. You want to read scripture behind scripture? Who won? Nobody? I got it. You already got one. All right, you want to be first. All right, you second. Give me somebody with uh, Psalm 56 3. 56 3. 56 3. Anybody? You got it. All right. Let's start out of the loop. Go ahead. Give me the loop. Yeah, do not spend your heart on what you will eat or drink. Do not worry about the about it. For the pagan, the pagan world runs out of all the things. And your father knows that you need to. Amen. Amen. Your father already knows. Amen. Wow, that was good. Give me Psalms 46 10. I got one word. That what? You said 31. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah. 29 and 31. I'm sorry. Go ahead. But seek his kingdom, and these things will give to you as well. Amen. But rather, think, rather seek the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Praise God. Psalms 46 10. Psalms 46 10. Yeah, now, be still. There you go. Be still, I reiterate. Be still. Yeah, come on. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. These are things that you use when your anxiety arises. Find this verse, as soon as that thing comes to your head, and that be still and know I'm God. Don't get it. Be still. Don't get anxious. Who got the Psalms uh, 56 3? What time? I'm afraid. I will trust in me. Say it again, really? What time? I'm afraid. I will trust in me. I will trust in me. See how these things are working? All right, somebody give me Job 42.1. Job 42.1. Somebody else give me 1 Peter 5.7. Go for it, Gary. Say that, what's that? Yes, I will die on him because of Amen. Which one was that? Peter. Peter? Five, seven. Okay. We got to Job 42, one. Anybody? And Job. Job? Job. Job. Not job. Job. I can in his head. Amen. Give me somebody Isaiah 41, 10. And somebody else give me Isaiah 59 and 1. Apparently, y'all got the sheets in front of you. That's good. I'm mean, here somebody doing it. I'll be a 59 and 1. Go. How much Peter? Wait a minute. You got enough Peter? Okay. No, she read Peter. Okay. You need to read it again, read it again. Shout out in here. Read it. Alright. Isaiah, come on. 49. Surely the arm of the Lord is not too 
joy, to fame. Gary, go. Gary, didn't you have one? Isaiah 41.10. Boy, the, the devil, what devil? Give me that one. 41.10. 41.10. Somebody, quickly. Uh, the time is cut. All right, 41.10. Uh, this day is dead. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not fear, for I am with you. Look, the only reason why I went through that process is because I wanted you to see the word of God that somebody else went through. Amen? And wherever you see that name or anyone else's name in that Bible, replace it with yours. Amen. Put your name in place in that scripture. And watch how God lives. Well, my name is written all over that Bible. Because no matter if it's a Peter, James, John, Joe, Blow, Warren's name with in place. Because I want Warren to get blessed with that. Amen? Amen. Amen. Y'all got some out of anxiety? Yes. Amen. 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 Well, next week we're going to cover, now I'm really, we're going to cover depression. God won't let me off depression. We just tore depression up there in Canaan land, and I'm going to see what this one says about it, but we won't deal with it. All right, let us pray. Father, we just thank you in the name of Jesus for this lesson this evening. I pray that people are grabbing these tools and working with it. So we thank you. We call anxiety cease. And we already know that fear is working out of them, stress is working out of them, anger may still a little bit more work. <laughs> but we thank you for the anxiety message this evening, Father. And I thank you for Pastor Zada and those who are here, because they were predestinated to be here. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. And I'll say amen. 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 Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. This is for the record. Still. Still. I want you to zoom in on this picture. I want you to zoom in on this picture. I want everybody out there in the cyber space, in the land, or wherever you are. I want everybody to see it because this is what this is what people do when they're on crack. This is me when I first got here my first year. And I was on crack. Did you zoom in on the still? Yeah. Okay, now look, you should zoom in at me. Well, I had to zoom back. Okay, well zoom back. <laughs> zoom back. Now, zoom in again on my face in this picture. This is what the Lord can do. Amen. Amen. If you trust in the Lord, he will do the same for you. There's nothing that the Lord can't do. Amen. Nothing. He can heal every wound. He can take away every, every pain. There's nothing the Lord can't do. I wanted to say that and put this out because of the fact that it might look like it's embarrassing to me, but I'm not embarrassed. Hallelujah. Thank you. I'm not embarrassed by this picture. I show this picture to everybody I see because I want you to understand that now I'm not in, I'm not ashamed no more. Hallelujah. God has saved me. Now that's, that's all I want to put on. Tonight.